Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you scheduled automation. So scheduled automation allows you to do a cron job, so C-R-O-N. If you don't know what that is, it's basically an automated script, an automated command that is run, you know, when a certain condition is met. It might be every 10 minutes, it might be every day, it might be when the computer first launches, you know, those sort of conditions. So to actually get into this, you type in sudo cron tab. If you do cron tab dash L, because so, I've done sudo, I need to type in my password. There's no cron tab for root, so there's no actual jobs that are you know set for automation. If I do dash e instead, it will open it up in nano. Probably won't open it up on nano for you. It'll give you some options one to five, or you know, depending on what sort of editors you got, select one, which is the easiest one, which is nano. If we go to the end, this is the general format. So, this for example, you can run a backup of all your user accounts at 5 a.m. So this sets it to 5 a.m. I've got a link right here which explains essentially how to set your time in terms of you know frequency. And there's a bunch of other cool stuff that you can do as well. So this is all explained on this link. So I will provide a you know a link to that. And then this is the actual command itself, whatever the command may be. It might actually be so for example. If I did this, this would run every single minute. If you, let's say, wanted, to, if you created your own script file, so a .sh file, maybe it's in your documents folder, could literally put the path here. So let's say, I don't know what the path will be. So you know, like path to script for slash script dot sh for example and if you obviously if you save that control x y and enter then every single minute it would try and locate the script and run it if that script was opening something up it would constantly be opening it you could maybe try and <laughs> annoy one of your friends by doing something like that they might not be able to figure it out straight away what is occurring or um, but you know more seriously it could be used to back something up you know commit some files do some sort of check, get some data from somewhere. You know, but obviously, what you can do in a bash file, which is essentially almost limitless possibilities because you can connect to the internet, you can do it here because you can run a script file. Obviously, you can just put a direct command as well, which is what is done right here. So that is it. So what I want you to do as an extra task is actually set some commands and you know just see how they go and check out the link that i provide as well so if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message so yeah once you're done you'll press Control x say do you want to say modified buffer so i haven't modified it i've only like added some empty new lines so it doesn't bother me so if i click yes and then you click enter here when it's asking for the name you want to you know overwrite it and there we go so obviously if i do dash l now it's saying well technically there isn't anything there because these are all just comments so technically none of this is there <clears throat> so yeah that is it if you have any questions like i said pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video